What's up everybody? My name is Tim Stoddard with StodzyMedia.com. This is episode 39 and welcome to Stodzy Land. Today we're going to talk about three major takeaways from the most recent Instagram update. Um, I'm calling it Insta Live. It's essentially an add-on to the uh, Instagram stories feature and now Instagram allows you to go live. We're already familiar with Facebook Live. The only difference between Facebook Live and Instagram Live is that the Instagram Live content disappears. So you can only see it and interact with it while it's happening. So this is really interesting. Instagram continues to, uh, to evolve and stay ahead of the curve with what's going on with the social app world. And from doing some research and from kind of thinking about the, the market with some of the other competitors, I've put together three really major takeaways on uh, what we can learn and um, discover about this new update. So let's get started. The first major takeaway from this is clearly from the update with Instagram stories and now with this live feature is that Instagram saw Snapchat as a legitimate threat. Um, when the first Instagram story update came out, I didn't think it was going to dig into Snapchat's numbers too much just because Snapchat had so much more of a younger audience, but it seems like it is. And it seems like, like Instagram is continuing to hold its user base. So this is really important because we know that, in, that Instagram and Facebook, cause they're the same company is taking Snapchat really seriously. And we know that they're continuing to make updates to hold on to the people that they already have. So if you thought about taking away the time and attention from Instagram and putting it into Snapchat, I would kind of rethink that. Most people are using both platforms, but this is telling me that Instagram is still a more in important place to be. So, um, so continue to spend time there. Uh, number two. Instagram always was known as kind of a place to really polish your content. You put your best pictures, your best selfies. I know there's always been an inside joke of people putting pictures up and not really seeing the instant likes and uh, engagement and immediately taking those pictures down. This means that Instagram is incentivizing people to kind of put their less perfect, less polished and behind the scenes type content available. So, they want brands and people to let their audience uh, really get to know them on a personal level. You know, not have your pictures be so perfect and so polished, really just casual conversation between you and your audience. Uh, this is important because this, because Instagram really tracks their data really well. So if they're doing this, this means that the people using Instagram really enjoy this type of content. Uh, Instagram makes sure they put their, their user base first. So if more and more people want to see this kind of less polished behind the scenes, uh, casual conversation between uh, the, the users and the account holders, then you should take it seriously and you should start doing it. If you're looking to grow your personal brand or grow your business, uh, an apparel company, whatever the case may be, take this seriously. Take this kind of less perfect casual content seriously and, and start creating more of it because clearly the user base wants to see it. And number three, this is really, really interesting. Um, I don't know how much clout this has from our perspective, but from more of a, a macro landscape of, of the, uh, the app and the mobile device digital landscape. This is really interesting because clearly Instagram is ruthless with stealing ideas. They pretty blatantly stole this whole uh, temporary disappearing content from Snapchat and the Instagram live feature. You notice that if you're watching a video, you can kind of double tap on it and the, and the hearts will display. That is directly stealing from Periscope. Periscope was really like the first live streaming app that came out. So uh, Instagram stories and Instagram live is really just stealing ideas from Snapchat stealing ideas from Periscope. Um, there's a couple features that come from Meerkat as well and putting them together in the best possible presentation. So if you're developing an app, if you have a video streaming or a picture sharing app, uh, like I said, this is only really gonna count to the, the higher level app developers. But if this is something that you're looking to get into, 
be careful because Instagram will ruthlessly steal your ideas and they won't have ask permission and they will just do it and they will do it really, really well because they know how to present a great product. If you have any questions on this, as always, you guys know where to find me right down here, timitsazi.com. Uh, I'm going to keep my eye on this because clearly video and live video is really important and it's something that the entire digital landscape is taking seriously. So over the next couple of weeks, I'll probably continue to uh, make some more videos and produce some more content on this sort of uh, little micro disappearing content boom that we're seeing. And uh, if you have any questions on it, feel free to ask me. Once again, my name is Tim Stoddard. Thank you so much for your time. I'll see you next time. Peace.